Hello, everybody, and welcome. We've got a full house of cheering fans, including Earl B., the home team's biggest fan. Earl B., Earl B., he's a man. Earl B., Earl B., the home team's biggest fan. Great day. For the best sports in Lorraine, that's TV20, Lorraine City Schools Television. Good evening, volleyball fans, on this Monday, August 25th. Well, during the months of December, January, and February, this may be the Lorraine Admiral King High School Shot Palace, but I can assure you tonight, it's the Lorraine Admiral King High School Sauna Palace. It is warm. We bumped into trainer Dave Dury, and my first question, obviously, was, Dave, how you doing? Hot, sweaty, and cranky. Well, right now we're hot and sweaty. We hope we won't get cranky, but we're looking forward to a good volleyball match. Normally, my partner would be Ray Bastock, but she is unable to make it tonight. And instead, we welcome to our TV20 camera, uh, Aaron Kovach. Aaron, you are the uh, junior varsity coach for Lorraine Southview, and uh, you're going to be our expert commentator tonight. So welcome. Well, thank you for having me. And uh, just a little bit about yourself. Uh, I understand that uh, you're involved with Ohio State University. Uh, the extension in, in Lorraine County, correct. Okay. And uh, you played volleyball at Avon. Played uh, high school volleyball at Avon High School and went on to play at Notre Dame College of Ohio. And one of the uh, Southview coaches, uh, Gina Kelly, yes. <laughs> happened to be your coach at Avon? She was my JV coach at Avon, yes. How about that? Well, you're going to lend the expertise, and right off the bat, this is the very first match of the 2003-2000, well, 2003 season, because volleyball ends before the uh, 2004 uh, calendar year. Uh, this is the first match between these two teams. Uh, it's an independent match, by the way. The Lorraine Admiral King uh, athletic teams are in the Lake Division of the uh, Lake Erie League, and Lorraine Southview's athletic teams are in the Erie Division. So this is not a uh, league conference uh, match, but rather an independent, and this was the earliest and the only open date that they could find. Now, the uh, freshman Southview volleyball players defeated uh, the freshman from Admiral King in two uh, games, 15-6, 15-12, and the JVs really stretched <laughs> it out this evening. The first match went to uh, the Southview JVs, 15-12, and then the Lady Admirals came in the second game and won that one, 15-3. And then the third game we thought would never end. But uh, the Lady Saints came out victorious 18-6 to to win the JV match by a 2-1 to score. Now, we're ready for the varsity shortly. How do you see these two teams tonight? Well, I see them matching up pretty well together. Um, both sides have lost a lot of core seniors over the past year. I believe Admiral King has lost eight seniors to graduation. And I know South has lost five. So it looks like it's going to be, uh, with the conditions in here, it could go either way, I think. Okay, and we're going to look forward to the start of uh, tonight's varsity match. The uh, Lady Saints are coached by Sharon Griffith and, as we indicated, Gina Kelly. They are co-coaches. And for the Admirals, and we certainly could use a little bit of his last name up here in our uh, uh, little area. His name is Rob Frost. He is a first-year coach and a permanent sub at Lorraine Admiral King High School. So we welcome Rob Frost to uh, the Lorraine athletic scene. And uh, Aaron and I will be back with the starting lineups and the beginning of tonight's varsity contest right after this timeout. Okay, this match is just about ready to get underway here at Lorraine Admiral King High School. Looking at the starting six for the Lorraine Southview Saints, coached by Sharon Griffith and Gina Kelly. Number one will be Yashira Radimer, a senior. Number three is Brittany Ruiz, a senior. Number five is Sarah Atkins, a senior. Number nine is Vanessa Santana, a senior. Number 10 is Alyssa Orocho, a junior, and number 20 is Alicia Neely, a sophomore. 
for the Lady Admirals, coached by Rob Frost, number 11, Allison Pierce, a sophomore, number 12, Sarah Gittich, a senior, number 14, Sarah Pankratz, a sophomore, number 16, Caitlin Donnelly, a junior, number 23, Deanna Nelson, a senior, and number 24, Annalisa Arroyo, a senior. And we'd like to uh, correct something we were saying earlier on in our introductory uh, uh, announcements about the JV scores. The uh, Southview Lady Saints victorious over the Lady Admirals two to one in the first match. The uh, Southview Saints victorious 15 to 12. In the second, it was Admiral King 15 to 13. And then in the uh, second or third match, it was Southview by a score of 18 to 16. And that entire three sets in the JV match ran about two hours. And Aaron, you said as far as you're concerned, that's the longest volleyball match that you've ever encountered. Longer than anything I've ever been involved in. I think <laughs> that includes all sports. It was, it was a thriller and quite enjoyable to watch, I think but I can test it's hot down there. And it's got to take its toll on the young ladies too. Oh, Needless yep. to say, I'm up here, the sweat is dripping off of me. That's probably why I didn't see the numbers correctly the first time around. <laughs> I, right. I got to find an excuse somewhere. Lady Admirals take an early lead, one to nothing. Serving for Admiral King is Annalisa Arroyo. Good spike there by Yashira Radimer. That'll give the ball to the Lady Saints. Serving is Brittany Ruiz. We are tied up at one and one. You can tell they're maybe a little bit nervous start beginning of the game. Uh, I think she'll probably get the next one here. Just a little bit of nerves. And a nice uh, job putting the ball into the court by Sarah Gittich. Well, it seems both teams are moving pretty well to, at the start of this uh, match, or game, actually. Uh, we'll see if how that will continue once the match continues. Let's see who's in shape here. In the lineup now for the Lady Admirals in doing the serving, number 15, Tanisha Taylor, a senior. And that one knocked out of bounds, so the point will go to the Lady Admirals. They take a lead now, two to one. Looks like someone was in the net that time. One of the Lady Admirals, no like doubt. And that's a point for Southview. They now lead. Uh, two to one on the scoreboard. That one will go out of bounds three to one. Yes, both sides look like they're being pretty aggressive to start out. Uh, just not able to connect oh, two, right two. away. Yeah. Serving now for Admiral King, Sarah Gittich. Scoreboard here at uh, Admiral King shows King leading two to one, and I thought Southview had put on more than one point. Must be correct, I think they would have corrected it by now. 
I thought it was 2-2. Two, two, uh, oh. No. Well, now it's 3-1 on that uh, point the Lady Admirals just scored. <laughs> Off the finger trips and dropping into the King Court, so that'll go over to Lady Southview Saints. Three to two is our score, King on top. And the serve by Vanessa Santana into the net. I think we realized in our JV game how important it is to get that serve over. Now you indicated you had what, 20 some? Uh, 20 plus missed serves in our, in our JV match. This is on our side, so I think that's why it took a little bit over two hours to play. And obviously when the uh, ball is served, it must cleanly go over the net. And in play. And in play, yes. Correct. Wow, another serve into the net. Now, serving such a mental thing, and you know, make no excuses, it is hot down there, but you have to concentrate and get that over. Sarah Atkins now serving for the Lady Saints. And uh, a great spike there by uh, Kate, uh, Caitlin Donnelly. It just got in the corner. Just caught the line. Admiral King gets the ball back and serving for the Lady Admirals, Caitlin Donnelly. And the serve goes out of bounds. LaShondra McClinn, a senior, number 11, was in the lineup for Southview. She comes out now and back in, and to serve is Alicia Neely. Like just outside the court. Great play run, though, by the, the Admirals. That was uh, Christy King. Now in the uh, lineup for Admiral King, a senior. So we're all knotted up at 3-3. Lady Admirals couldn't save that one, so the point goes to Southview. They are now leading 4-3. And that serve goes out of bounds. <laughs> Serving now for the Lady Admirals, Sarah Pankratz, the sophomore, number 14. And that point goes to the Lady Admiral, so they tie it up at 4-4. Sarah Pankratz will continue the serve. Yes, both sides are moving pretty well, but I think both coaches like to see a little bit more aggressive play from both sides. Sarah Pankratz is a sophomore. Her favorite class is drama. Mr. Barnes, her favorite teacher. She likes watching and acting out plays, movies, and learning the history of how entertainment in plays and movies come to be influencing her sports career, her coaches, her family, older people who play well. Her future goals are to go to college to major in the art of film so that she can become a film director and or producer. Her hobbies and interests include movies, music, sports, and especially volleyball, softball, and basketball. She carries a 4.750 GPA. Wow. So there is a real scholar athlete. Quite impressive. She has academic honors and awards in softball, 
Coaches Award, Volleyball, Freshman Captain's Award, Academic Excellence, Certificate from Scholastic Banquet. That's Sarah Pankratz. Couldn't quite save it on that one, though. And we're knotted up at 5-5. Five, five. Looks like the ball's getting a little wet down there. Probably a little bit hard to handle at this point. Well, I'm sure these young ladies uh, have sweaty palms. No doubt perspiring. They're wearing some form of headband to kind of catch the sweat, but I do see some reaching up to their foreheads, and that puts the perspiration onto the hands, which eventually gets onto the ball. Right. It is very, very humid here in the gymnasium. Like we said, the sauna palace, at <laughs> least for tonight. Serving for Southview, Alyssa Orocho. And that one went right into the court. Good one. That was just a great set by uh, Admiral King's setter to get that ball over to the outside. Very nice. Serving for the Lady Admirals, Annalisa Arroyo. Short-lived as the uh, Lady Saints will put the ball into play now. Seems like both teams are getting a little bit more in sync at this point. Starting to run some plays, better offense. That'll be a point for the Lady Saints as they now take the lead 6-5. Brittany Ruiz, a senior, doing the serving. Her favorite class is science. Her favorite teacher, Mr. Cicerella. And the reason why, he makes learning exceptionally fun and interesting. Who has influenced her sports career? Coach Griffith, Coach Kelly, and her family. Her favorite professional sports player is Alex Rodriguez. Her future goals? to attend an Ivy League college and major in psychology in pursuit of becoming a criminal psychologist. Her favorite hobbies and interests are shopping, sports, going out with friends, and extracurricular activities. She carries a four-point GPA, another scholar athlete. She is a four-year varsity letterman, has received the Coach's Award, Gatorade will uh, toe in athlete uh, award, the principal's award for straight A's, and she's chosen to attend the Martin Essex School for the Gifted. Her family history in organized sports includes her whole family, very heavily participated in the Southview wrestling program, and her uncle is now a coach. That's Brittany Ruiz. Eight to five, Lady Saints leading by three. The ball now going back to the Admirals and Tanisha Taylor, a senior, number 15, will be doing the serving. Looks like it just grazed off her arms in the back row there. It's a good hit by Sarah Atkins that time. Serving now for the Lady Saints, uh, Yashira Radimer. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I believe you're correct. She is a senior. Her favorite class is trigonometry. She loves math, especially trigonometry, which is a course I never took when I was in high school. I think I did, but it wasn't my favorite. I went through algebra, plane geometry, and advanced algebra, and that's as far as I went. 
Her biggest influence in her sports career is her family. Her favorite uh, professional sports player, Kobe Bryant. She plans to attend John Carroll and study midwife. Mm. That's interesting. Yes, very. She's had a great pass right there, too. Her hobbies and interests includes volleyball, basketball, music, television, phone, computer, and shopping. That's one young lady who will never be bored. <laughs> and she carries a 3.8 GPA. It's one of the things that's always amazed me about these athletes at both high schools. They've also got a lot of intelligence in using it. Serving now for the Lady Saints, Vanessa Santana. Vanessa is a senior. Her favorite teacher is Ms. Griffith, the volleyball coach. She has always pushed me to do my best in school and in sports, according to Vanessa. The biggest influences in her sports career, her coaches, and her favorite sports player professionally is Tom Logan. She plans to graduate from college and pursue a career in the medical field. She's involved in many extracurricular activities with school, and she also enjoys going out with her friends. She carries a 3.5 GPA. That's Vanessa Santana. Nine to five now the score. Southview leading by four. Sarah Atkins now serving for the Lady Saints, a senior. Her favorite class is Spanish. Mrs. Scarupa is her favorite teacher. And the serve will now go to the Lady Admirals. And why is Spanish her favorite class? She just likes the teacher. She always made Sarah try her best. Who has influenced her sports career? Her dad has been her biggest influence. Sarah Atkins plans to go to college to be a nurse and specialize in labor delivery. Labor and delivery. delivery. How about that? That's kind of like being a midwife, midwife. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I didn't know you could go to college to become a midwife. I wasn't sure of that either. Wow, see, we learned both something learned new. something new. That's what <laughs> makes life interesting. Her hobbies and interests include dancing, swimming, playing with uh, her sisters and nephew, and talking on the telephone, what young lady doesn't. And needless to say, volleyball as well. She indicates that her dad was a varsity football player and a four-year varsity wrestler. So it runs in the family. That's Sarah Atkins, number five for the Lady Saints. Now serving for the Lady Saints, Alicia Neely. 10 to five is our score as the Lady Saints have doubled it up on the Lady Admirals. Looks like we had someone in the net that time. Just gonna side it out to the Admirals. Serving for the Lady Admirals, number 14, Sarah Pankratz. And that one's going to go out of bounds. Serving for Southview, Alicia Orocho. That was Vanessa Santana just missing a little long on that hit. Again, looks like both teams are just a little sluggish at this point. We've had a long wait all day, I know. They've waited about five, almost five hours to play this match. Well, the freshmen started out, what, at 4.30? 4.30. 4.30, and right now it is almost 8.30 here on a Monday, August 25th, at Lorraine Admiral King High School. 
So uh, these young ladies have been involved in volleyball now for four hours, and uh, we salute uh, a lot of the fans who have stuck it out. We have a nice crowd here for the for the conditions of the gym. But you know, why would you want to miss this match? You got to <laughs> your uh, big time rivalry between these schools. And just looking ahead, I believe these two teams will meet again independently at Lorraine Southview High School sometime in October, That's if correct. I'm not mistaken. And TV20 will be on the scene, not only bringing you the varsity game, but the freshman and the junior varsity as well. So all the young ladies who will stick with the program and uh, give it their best come October, they will have their chance on TV20. Brittany Ruiz will be doing the serving now. Oh! Valiant attempt there by Deanna Nelson for the Lady Admirals, but it went under the net instead of over, so the point goes to the Lady Saints, 11 to five. They need four to wrap it up. The serve will now go to the Lady Admirals. Tanisha Taylor now in the uh, lineup for the Lady Admirals, and Tanisha will be doing the serving. She is a senior. Her favorite class is French. Her favorite teacher is Ms. Stemple. And the reason why? Because Ms. Stemple is so very nice, and she makes learning fun. Her sister, Dion, has been the biggest influence in her sports career. Tanisha plans to go on to college and major in early childhood. She enjoys talking on the phone and teaching youngsters. Bless her heart. That is Tanisha Taylor of Lorraine Admiral King High School. Eleven five, still our score. Southview leading by a total of seven or six points. Oh! ho! Oh. It's like just a little miscommunication that time on the floor. Yeah, I've got it. No, you got it. <laughs> you take it. No, I'll take it. <laughs> and the serve goes back to the Lady Admirals with the honors number 12, Sarah Gittich. That time just gonna go a little bit out of bounds again. Just like they're being a little too more conservative. I said it before, and it's gonna be more aggressive in the middle there at time. Sarah did not get her informational sheet to us, so all we can tell you is that Sarah Gittich, number 12, is a senior. And a nice serve she just had. A good server. Having just uh, completed her second uh, point in a row, pulling her team to within four now of the Lady Saints. It's 11-7. The ball will now go back to the Lady Saints. And Vanessa Santana will be doing the serving. I guess it's going to go just a little long again. You know, one of my girls uh, earlier told me their floor is smaller. That's why the serves were going out. I don't think so, though. Now, doesn't every volleyball court have to be a standard size? That is correct. They're all standard. Now, one thing about uh, here at Admiral King that would not be true at Southview, you have more depth 
on each end of the volleyball court, which may seem like you've got more room, That's possibly. Correct. Where in, at South, you, you don't have as much depth beyond right. what is normally the basketball right. court, the volleyball court within the basketball court. That's correct. This is a great gym to play volleyball, and you have so much room. And that one's going to go out of bounds. 11-8. The Lady Admirals within three. Southview will, however, have the serve now. Sarah Atkins. Great save there. That time you had great movement by both sides, getting to the balls. It's a great job by both sides that time. Point for the Lady Saints. Sarah Atkins still on the serve. It's 12 8. And make it 13 8. Lady Saints just two points away from wrapping up this first game. And a timeout called on the uh, court. One of the uh, players that provided an informational sheet for us, and uh, Aaron, you indicated that uh, junior LaShonda Hughes started out with this varsity team, but she's going to be having an operation coming up. Yeah. This, uh, this week, Thursday. That is correct. She's having uh, ACL surgery on Thursday to uh, correct a, a knee injury. She occurred, I think, throughout the summer. Wow. Well, we certainly wish LaShonda, LaShonda Hughes the very best. And our prayers will be with her and the doctors who will be administering to her on Thursday in that operation. Uh, her favorite class, though, is English. Ms. Martin and Ms. Griffith are her favorites because she was very blunt. She also had a unique technique of teaching. What has influenced her sporting career, which has been sidelined for the moment, her stepfather and uh, her brother Jeff. Her favorite professional sports player is Helen Darling and Michael Jordan. Her future goals are to graduate from college and play professional sports. She enjoys going to the park with uh, her nephew and hanging out with her sister and her friends. She has a three-point GPA. She has received the Young Scholars Award. And in her family uh, history of organized sports, her brother Jeffrey Hughes played football, and we know him and remember him well from the tremendous feats that he did at uh, Southview, having graduated this past June. And that's the end of the uh, first uh, game. The Lady Saints victorious by a score of 15 to 8. And uh, we'll be back with the second game right after this timeout. Since 1921, your hometown financial professionals at First Federal Savings of Lorraine have dedicated themselves to meeting the financial needs of their customers and surrounding communities. They offer a wide variety of financial investments as well as home mortgages to meet your every need. Loans on boats, cars, mobile homes, and other worthwhile purchases are also available. Whatever your financial need, First Federal Savings of Lorraine is ready to help. Seven convenient locations to serve you in Lorraine, Huron, Sandusky, Port Clinton, and now at 36690 Detroit Road in Avon. First Federal Savings of Lorraine is an equal housing lender and FDIC insured. CC's Pizza, all you can eat for only $3.99. CC's Buffet has 16 kinds of great tasting pizza, pasta, salad, and desserts, all you can eat for only $3.99. And CC's was voted number one for overall customer satisfaction. The best buffet that you can find, lunch and dinner anytime. Let's go to CC's Pizza. 
Okay, second game action getting underway. The Lady Saints victorious in the first one, 15 to eight. And if you're just joining us, the uh, Lady Saints on the freshman team, uh, victorious over the Lady uh, Admirals freshman, 15-6, 15-12. That one going 2-0. In the junior varsity uh, contest, the Lady Saints victorious in the first game, 15-12. Lady Admirals taking the second, 15-13. And then in what appeared to be almost a marathon, the Lady Saints in the third game, victorious 18 to 16. So Lady Saints junior varsity team winning that two to one. Looks like there might be something wrong with the rotation or the way they're set up. They're it very appears. they're very fussy about that, aren't they? Very fussy. Because, uh, you know, you don't want them in the wrong rotation because as they go back to serve, um, it's a pointer or side out awarded, and you really don't want that to happen, especially in a close game. Well, with this brief uh, timeout, let me just uh, say thank you to all of the fine people who are making these telecasts possible for the Lorraine City Schools. Uh, impressions located at the corner of uh, Tower Boulevard and Oberlin Avenue. First federal savings and loan of Lorraine with seven convenient locations to serve you. The Palace Civic Center, CeCe's Pizza Buffet. Man, if you haven't tried that, you gotta get over there. And that's going to be a point for the uh, Lady Saints. Brittany Ruiz doing the serving and also uh, Campana Development. We welcome these fine people. And that serve going out of bounds, shot out there by Admiral King's Deanna Nelson. And that'll be uh, two points now for the Lady Saints, taking an early lead, two to nothing. Brittany still at the serve. a nice job finding the open spot that time. Uh, both teams seem to be picking up the game a little bit. Uh, Admirals seem to be passing a lot better this game. Allison Peace just couldn't get a uh, handle on that one. Got away from her going out of bounds. Brittany continues to serve and that one was in. So four points in a row for Brittany. And a timeout is called by coach Rob Frost. He wants to talk to his lady Admirals as to uh, what's happening here. And he had a tough start uh, in his initial year of coaching. They could not find the uniforms <laughs> for the uh, volleyball team. Uh, they eventually discovered over the weekend that the uh, uniforms were in the home of the former volleyball coach. He had kept them there, and he was not able to issue uniforms until this afternoon. Oh, that put a little bit of stress into your day, yes, I think. Yes, yes. Not, not to mention your very first crack at uh, coaching. coaching a varsity team. But he got through it, and that's the important thing. It's like he rearranged his lineup out there to have some different passers, and it seemed to work a little bit. Brittany's serve going out of bounds, so the serve will now go to the Lady Admirals. You know, you always stress to your players after a timeout, you do not want to miss that serve. It's so important to get that in. Annalisa Arroyo doing the serving now. And that one went out of bounds. Yashira Radimer now serving for Southview. It was a great job by the Admirals. They got a great pass to their setter, setting up that middle hit. It's a fantastic job. Yeah, good hit by Sarah Gittich. Brings the serve back to Admiral King. And Tanisha Taylor.
And that one stayed in bounds. Yashira Radimer watched that one go by, thinking, man, I'd like to have a chance at that one more time. Yeah. You know, we don't see high school girls, um, well, not at this time of year, go down line like she did, and that was a great hit by the Admiral's hitter. Tanisha Taylor continues to serve as she put the first point on the board for her team. And that one out of bounds. Serving now for Southview, Vanessa Santana. Well, they're going to have Maria Arredondo now serve. Maria Arredondo, a sophomore, her favorite class is art. She likes to be creative and enjoys being creative. And art is a class that can accomplish that task. Yes, it is. Her influences in uh, her sports career, her family, Joyce and Joel Arredondo. And as I mentioned to you earlier, Aaron, uh, Joyce, uh, her maiden name, Furlick, and her father, Joel Arredondo, were both former students of mine at Admiral King High School. How about that? You're not aging yourself, are you? No, no. of course not. <laughs> And also influencing her sports career, Brandon Neely. Her favorite professional sports player, Michael Vick. And Michael Jordan in his early days. She plans to go to college. Her interests and hobbies, volleyball and just being with friends. She has a 3.8 GPA. And in her family background, her father participated in men's fast pitch softball. Mr. Joel Arredondo. who sells Toyotas for Sunnyside out there near the Great Northern Shopping Center on Lorraine Road. Oh, that's a great serve that Boy, time. that one just stayed in bounds. Wow. Seven to one our score now, the Lady Saints. I don't know if you've noticed or been able to pick up, but you could see on the upper thighs of the Lady Saints, there are like red marks. They're actually uh, removable tattoos. On one leg is the emblem of the uh, Southview mascot, the Saint. And on the other leg is Beat King. Beat King, that's Beat right. Beat King. With an eight to one lead, by the Lady Saints, we have a timeout on the floor. It looks like Coach Frost is going to readjust his defense a little bit out there. Unfortunately, I think that's his second timeout he's already used this game, so uh, he's going to have to go without calling a timeout the rest of the game. So hopefully, so you're allowed two per game. That's correct, two per game. So they're going to pretty much have to finish out this game pretty much on their own. And this shows what aggressive serving can do in a game also. I think she's run off is it five serves already, five points. I believe she's had two, maybe three. Uh, Miss Arredondo? Yeah, it's only three. Oh, now I just jinxed her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, that's an that important timeout. You got to get that serving right after that timeout's called. All right, Sarah Gittich will now be serving for the Lady Admirals. And that one going into the net will give the ball back to Southview. Yeah, it looked at time she was a little bit out of position that time to, to get a straight on approach to the ball. Right off the block that time. Another aggressive swing at the ball. Despite the fact that it went out of bounds, uh, it went off the fingertips of one of the Lady Saints, so. That is correct. Sometimes you can't catch that as a ref. That time she got it. And that one went out of bounds. Served by Admiral King's Allison Peace. 
Allison Peace, by the way, is a sophomore. Her favorite class is English. And uh, Mr. Winner is her favorite teacher. And the reason being, uh, the teacher was really uh, a lot of great fun and a fun teacher and was very interested in all of uh, her students. So I guess that it looks like a Mr. Winner, but I guess it's a Ms. Winner. The one who has influenced her sports career the most, her stepdad and her health and human services teacher, Ms. McGill. And one of her uh, teacher coaches, Mr. Jackson. Florence Griffith Joyner is her favorite uh, professional sports uh, player, Flo Jo. Allison Peace's goals include uh, graduating from high school with honors and then head on off to college and become a successful pediatrician, bless her heart. Her interests and hobbies include uh, sports, cooking, arts and crafts, working with children, playing with animals, and just having fun, like playing volleyball on a hot Monday night. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's all about. If you're not oh, having yeah, fun. Yeah. She was selected most valuable player for track in her freshman and uh, sophomore years, or I should say her seventh and eighth grade years at Lorraine Middle School. She earned varsity letters for track in her freshman year here. And she uh, passed out, uh, or she passed all of her uh, Ohio professional, professional proficiency <laughs> tests on her first try and has received numerous academic awards throughout the year. She doesn't list her GPA, but I would assume it's gotta be up there. Sarah Pankratz serving for the Lady Admirals, nine to one, Southview leading by eight. And Good they're saying what, four hits by the uh, Lady Admirals and you're only allowed three once the ball goes into your court. Right. So that brings up Brittany Ruiz serving now for Southview. Six points away from wrapping it all up here tonight. I think they're questioning the call now, saying it went off the block or did not hit the block. Because remember, if you are blocking, it does touch a block. It does not count as a hit. But it looks like they're going to stick with their call. Wow, Sarah Giddich just let that one go. I think she thought she might have been a little bit closer to the bench than she was maybe. Not sure on that. Anyway, it's a Southview point, 10 to one now. Make it 11 to one. The Lady Admirals just really need to come together now and communicate a little bit better. Looks like this needs to be their problem right now. And remember, he's already taken both timeouts, so. Brittany Ruiz still the uh, server for Southview. And that one's going to go out of bounds on the uh, pass back by Admiral King. So it's a point for Southview. It's now 12 to one. And we're going to have a substitution for the uh, Lady Saints. Coming in the lineup now is Lindsay Friend. And going to the bench is Alicia Orocho. Lady Admirals needs at least one play to get them back into this game. One good play. I think that would turn their turn the momentum around just a little bit for them. 13-1. And that one is going to go out of bounds off the arms of Sarah Gittich. 14-1. Southview just needs one more point to win this game and wrap up the entire match. Best two out of three. They won the first one, 15 to eight. 
And that's going to do it. The 15th point and victory for the Lady Saints. Aaron and I will be back to wrap it up right after this timeout. It's a sound we take for granted. Life seems so simple as a child, yet 500,000 children in Ohio have vision problems. Problems that if not detected early can lead to loss of sight and difficulty learning. Simple activities like riding a bike can become dangerous. When you register your vehicle or renew your license plates, add a dollar donation to the Save Our Sight Fund and help save the sight of Ohio's children. For more information, call 1-800-755-GROW. Thanks for giving to Save Our Sight. Well, on a hot, humid night, August 25th, here at Lorraine Admiral King High School Gymnasium, the Lady Saints varsity squad made it possible for an early exit and an opportunity to get some fresh air. And uh, Aaron, Number one, want to really thank you for filling in for Ray Bastock tonight on the spur of the moment and lending your expertise. And now your thoughts about this varsity match tonight. Well, you know, you really don't want to put too much emphasis on this. It was an independent game. Uh, both teams have a, quite a bit to work on, as you could tell, um, just from watching. And it's something that they can just build on for the rest of the year and work on things in practice tomorrow. All right, and of course, as we've indicated, these two teams will face each other again in October over at Lorraine Southview High School. Just reviewing all of the scores on this clean sweep by the Lady Saints. They began at 4.30 this afternoon with the freshman game. They took uh, both uh, games 15-6, 15-12. In the JV contest, the Lady Saints won the first game by a score of 15 to 12. Then the Lady Admirals with the uh, only highlight of the evening were victorious in that one, 15-13. And then in the third game of the uh, best two out of three, it was the Lady Saints 18 to 16. Now here tonight in the varsity match that you got to see on TV 20, it was 15-8 in the first uh, game, Lady Saints, and in the second, 15-1. And how unusual is it for a volleyball team just to score one point, Aaron? Especially on the varsity level, it really is unusual. But again, you know, we had, as a reminder, it is their first game of the season. They lost eight seniors last year to graduation, and it's just a rebuilding year. Brand new coach, pretty much brand new team. And no doubt the weather conditions inside this gymnasium certainly had to take its toll on, on the players as well, because you and I, we can feel the heat just uh, standing here doing nothing. They're out there really playing. But right. they gave it the best shot, and we look forward to these two teams meeting again in October, and we'll be there for that. Coming ahead on TV20, uh, sports-wise, this coming Friday, August 29th, TV20 will be traveling to Westlake, Ohio, at the high school there to bring you football action between the Southview Saints and the Westlake Demons. So we've got that to look forward to uh, this coming Friday. Until then, for my partner tonight, Aaron Kovach, our producer and director and cameraman, Joe Bach, I'm Ron Bacalar. Good night, everyone. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools, TV 20, WLCS. To purchase a high-quality copy of the program you just viewed, please call Lorraine City Schools Television at 282-8400.